So here we are. Now we are going to model a little lamp to help us fill this fireplace a little better with decor. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch to the top view, go back to wireframe mode, and we're going to start with a simple box. So create panel, geometry, box. I'm just going to draw in a box and pull any height. So I'm going to go to left view and place this. And I'm just going to place really on the fireplace. Then we're going to go to the modify panel and let's change this. I'm going to go with five by five in length, actually three by three. So it's smaller and the height, let's put something like 35. There you go. Let's rename this lamp base 01. Let's convert this to editable poly. And in here, I'm going to select the top vertices, switch to the top view. And we're just going to move this a little bit like so. So we want this to be in this kind of shape here. Once that's done, I'm going to select the bottom ones and I'm going to scale them in like so. Let's switch to the perspective view and see how this looks. Back to shaded mode. Here it is. So looking good, let's chamfer this because we know that we need to chamfer these objects especially the hard corners. So something like 05 looks good. I'll confirm this. And now we want to duplicate this around this center here. So we're going to change the pivot position. And we've done this before. I'm going to switch back to the top view, go back to wireframe mode. I'm going to enter the hierarchy tab click affect pivot only and then I'm going to move the pivot around so I'm going to zoom in a bit to place this better there you go once I'm happy with its position I can click affect pivot only again and there you go once that's done we're ready to rotate this so make sure that you have angle snap enabled then go to the rotate tool hold shift and rotate this 120 degrees do it as an instance and do one additional copy there you go so we have the base for our lamp it's looking pretty good so far we just need the lamp shade so i'm going to go to the left view wireframe and we're going to do this with lines so create panel shapes and I'm just going to create a simple shape for the shade something like this I'm holding shift remember you can edit this later so just make sure that you got everything put down and then you can edit. So back to modify panel. Let's edit this real quick. I'm going to move this around. This is too thick. So I'm going to make it not as thick. And I'll do the same up here. So this is too thick. And this as well. I'm going to delete this vertex here. So we have a straight. Let's rename this lampshade 01. And then it's just a matter of adding a lathe modifier, expanding to get its axis, and then move the axis out. So let's see something like this. And then we'll place this better. Okay. 
I think it's a little short, so I'm going to go back to the line. And you can enable show end result if you want to get something more interactive. And I'm going to do something like this. There you go. Much better. And I'm going to add a turbo smooth. But you can also, if you don't want to add a turbo smooth, you can just get more segments. And it will look better in resolution. I want to add a turbo smooth because I want to smooth this out. Okay, so I'm going to add the turbo smooth. There you go. And once that's done, I'm going to add one edit poly modifier in the middle. So I can add a few swift loops just to control this a little better. There you go. And down here, the same. Let's go to perspective view. Because I think it will be a little better to add resolution here. So something like this and this. There you go. And as you can see, I'm just adding resolution where I feel that it shouldn't smooth as much. Okay, so just add resolution where you know that it's not supposed to smooth that much. Basically, the corners, the corners that you want to maintain, you will add resolution. Okay, so I'm just adding resolution here. And then when I go back, there you go. There we have it. So I'm just going to place this on the top view. I'm going to place my lampshade. Then I'm going to select all the three bases and the lampshade itself. And as always, once that's all selected, let's make a group and call it lamp fireplace 01. And there you go. We have a lamp to help us complete the look of our scene. You can rotate it a little bit to look a little different. And there you go. We're going to continue modeling a few extra objects in our next lesson.